there is always a hidden curriculum in life. And that hidden curriculum is to be about the journey of life. It's not just the destination. We're in this life experience for soul growth. Many times that involves the classroom called Life 101. And that is not always easy, but it is always the best for our soul. And hard work is not something that should be, should be avoided. Hard work, good meaningful work, is good for your soul. Often I'll have people pray, uh, send in prayer requests. I mean often, where I want to be rich. I want to, I want to win a million dollars or whatever. Well, that may not be the best thing for the hidden curriculum of your soul growth. My grandfather's father was an extremely rich man. Uh, Truly, he owned most of the land in Florida that Disney World now sits on. And this was around the turn of the last century, around 1900, 1901. And he uh, passed away and then left the descendants, the children, of course, a great deal of money. And the family often talks about that. It was one of the worst things that happened to each one of those people because basically each one, in their own way, large or small, stopped living. They had everything that they were striving for before, and therefore their lives after that point didn't amount to as much as they could have amounted to. And did it bring happiness? Not really, not overall, over the whole family. There was one person that really became quite an angry and a bitter person. Hard work is not to be avoided. In Proverbs 21, verse 5, it says, The plans of the diligent lead surely to plenty, to be diligent every day. How does God intend for us to work? Does God intend for us to work diligently, or does God reward mediocrity? Well, the answer should be obvious. God created a world in which hard work is rewarded and sloppy work is not. And yet sometimes we may seek ease, many times, if we're honest. We seek ease over excellence. Or we may be tempted to take shortcuts and uh, uh, fool the system. Uh, get rich quick scheme when God wants us to work straight and narrow paths. Today, heed God's word. Work by doing God's work. Allow God to work through you. That's where the burdens become light and the yoke is easy. When God shows up on Monday morning, Tuesday morning to your work, and uh, you are there, but you're allowing the brilliance, the wisdom, the skill of God to come through. And you'll be taught at the same time that you teach others about your ability. And you will be rewarded for your excellence when you do this. Wherever you find yourself, whatever your job description, do your work and do it with all your heart. When you do, you are likely to win the recognition of your peers But more importantly, God will bless you directly and bless your efforts and use you in ways that only God can foresee. So work faithfully and leave the rest to God. It has been said that I am more and more persuaded that all is required of us is a faithful seed sowing, the harvest is bound to follow. Seed sowing 
on a Monday and a Tuesday, as we get dressed, as we go to work, that is the very work that we do to make this world a better place through our skill, through our talents, and through our consenting to allow God to do the work as us. God bless you.